IT402 class 10th the chapter working with digital documentation advance so there are different topics the first topic is working with styles the styles are actually the set of text or page formatting and uh, particular fonts font size font type making them bold underline or italicizing them changing the font color and everything which is already there which you apply to your unformatted document so over here for example i have this document in which uh, this is the main heading then we have two sub headings here right so let's make it unformatted so what i'll do control a and then i'll go here and i'll say clear formatting so it will be normal text there is no formatting now it is important to note that we have different styles which are provided by a writer they are paragraph styles character style page style frame style and list style and we have different topics that we are going to cover in this video the very first one is applying style to a document using the formatting dialog box you can open it from format and then you can go to style and formatting and there is a shortcut key you can see over here f11 so this is how your style and formatting dialog box will appear now you want to apply the style for example again i want to add the style to my heading so what i'll do i'll select that i'll just click anywhere between that heading and then i will just double click on when I, any of the heading that i want for example heading 1 so you can see that it has been applied similarly if i want a heading over here if you need another formatting for your subheadings just click anywhere in between and just double click on any other right so you can see that it is different from the heading one this is how you apply style using the style and formatting dialog box after that you have apply styles using fill format option this is the fill format mode which will help you to add the style to your document quickly now this is basically just like format Painter. Suppose if I want to apply this style to my second subheading, so what I'll do, I'll just click on this fill format, and then I will apply it to wherever I want to. Have you seen that it is being copied? So this is what the function of fill format mode. And now to disable it again, you just click on this. It will be disabled. We have apply styles using the apply style list. Now suppose I have a list. I want to change this list. So what I'll do, I'll just select them. and i can go to you can see over here this is the paragraph style this is the character style this is the frame style page style and this is the list style so just click here and we have different types of style for over here for example this one is this you can see different styles right you can use them the next topic is applying style using shortcut key so you can apply the style to the text by using the shortcut key and uh, it will be easier to use because it is going to make your task quicker right so just for that you will go to the tools pen new and then customize now over here we have the keyboard tab can you see that we have different tabs you just click on the keyboard tab and we have different keys over here i have already assigned two keys alt 1 and alt 2 you can see over here so let me delete it you can delete it from here Now, if I want to use Alt one for some functions, what I'll do, I'll just click on this. Then I will choose for which style I want. So here in the category, you will choose style for which style you want it. Suppose I want to change the page orientation, so I'll just click on page, and here I want the landscape function. So what it will do when I press Alt one, it will change the orientation to landscape. This is the function, right? This is the function of this key. Now click on modify after that. and you can see that this function is being assigned over here right click on okay and let's change the orientation of our page right now this is portrait i want to make it landscape so which of the key i have used i have created alt 1 so let me press alt 1 and here is my page orientation which has been changed right i just undo it now the next topic is creating a new style When you come to creating a new style, we have three methods over here. Creating a style using style and formatting dialog box, using drag and drop method, and using the selection. Let's try with formatting dialog box. The shortcut key is F11. So I'm pressing it on my keyboard, and here is my <coughs> dialog box. You have to choose for which category you want, like for paragraph or character, what. So let's start with the paragraph. 
for creating a new style using formatting style and formatting dialog box you just right click on an empty area you will get new it will open a paragraph style box where you can give the name to your style okay like my style after that which of the style if you want to change and make any changes here you can make the changes right for for example i want to make a change here some over here i want some spacing and the line spacing i want 1.5 okay Similarly, the background, I can have a background like this and I'm going to change the font as well. You can explore different tabs over here. As per your requirement, you can experiment with them. Then alignment, if I want justified or center line, left align, whatsoever, you can select that. That's it. Let's uh, do it. Okay, it was my style 3. So let's apply it somewhere here. Can you see that it has been changed accordingly? So this is how you can create the new style using the style and formatting dialog box. Creating the style using drag and drop method. I just make changes. What I have to do is I'll just select it. I'll just drag and drop it here. And here is my new style created. Now if I want to apply it, so just click on this and find out your style p1 go click and it will be applied have you seen that so this is how you apply it so now the third option is creating the style using selection see i have selected this one this is center aligned i have changed the font so now if i want to create a new style i'll just select it and then here i will have an option to create a new style using selection so click on this give it a name you can see it is over here now you can check it whether it is working or not so just click wherever you want to apply it look for your style that you have created and double click that this is how it is going to work so we have learned how we can create the style using drag and drop method using the selection and using the formatting toolbar you have different styles over here you just want to make a little bit of change in that suppose heading one is not that bold and i want to change this font type of that so what i'll do right click on this and you'll get modify option so here you can suppose if you want to give the color you can give the color which color that you want and uh, let's change the font type this is how it has been changed let's select the text and double click on this and you can see that it's been done so this is how you can modify a style using the style and formatting dialog box now the next topic is copying and moving style using template management dialog box you can copy and move the styles that you already have created with your previous documents you can use them in your current documents right so if you want to use the style of a particular file in any other file then you need to transfer those style from your source file to the destination file and how you are going to do that for this you will go to file and then here we have templates and organize now this dialog box will appear template management you have different templates over here in my templates if you don't have you have to create and then you have to save them as templates so how you are going to save them suppose if you want to save this particular file as a template so you will go to file you just go to save as give it a proper name and then from here you have to select document after document we have template select this option just click on save so after saving your style just let's apply it we'll go to template and then organize now i want to transfer my style from another document to my document so i just click on documents here and i want to i have to select for which document i want to transfer the style so let's start with this is my untitled 2 suppose i want my i want to transfer the style for untitled 2 i'll just double click on that and then uh, i have to just double click on style now i want to apply the style of style 1 document which i already created so what i'll do i'll hold down my control key and then i can apply the style like i want to apply my style 3 so click and hold down and shift it here similarly click hold down control and shift it here so you can see you can this is how you transfer the style from one document to another document okay and in case you want to select any other style you want to add any other style you can click on the file and again you can select which of the style you want to add so i just created one that's why there is only one file now the last topic is loading style from a template or document for this you have to 
open your style and formatting dialog box after that just click on this and you'll have load styles now these styles are uh, these templates are already created by me when you click on my templates it may be empty so you have to create templates over here those templates will be appeared here if you want to select you can go and select from file i'll just select one of them i have to select text and override in case i will check the override option to replace the style with the same name click on ok and your work will be done i hope this styles is being clear to you next tutorial will be on working with graphical objects or images see you in the next video till then keep learning